Friends Friday. I hope you're having a splendid day. I want to talk to you about some plays that I like for tonight's NBA ball game, starting with the Toronto Raptors and the Boston Celtics divisional rivals, right? Uh, the Celtics have been struggling in the bubble, covering only one out of four ball games, and the Raptors, man, they've been playing lights out. Kyle Lowry, 33 points, and not an easy win, but they, they won going away against the Lakers. Uh, and then Fred Van Vliet had 36 points recently against the Miami Heat. I mean, they are really, really balling, and they are favored by two at minus 110. And I'd like Toronto to cover this ball game. Toronto also has only given up at least 100 points one time in the bubble. And the over-under for this ball game is set at 219 and a half total points. Okay, at minus 110. The over, minus 110 also with the under. And these two defenses, they were the best in the NBA during the regular season in points given up. I kind of think it's going to be an intense defensive battle. And I think the under is gonna hit in this ball game. And I think Toronto is gonna cover the spread. The Celtics won two out of three against the Raptors. The Raptors are just playing better than Boston right now. The Pelicans against the Washington Wizards. Like I said in a prior video, did the Wizards even have a team at this point, right? They're 0-4 in the bubble. They're already thinking about n next season. While the Pelicans are only thinking about a win, man. I mean, they're trying to get in the playoffs. I think this is a good... Pelicans are going to take this game very seriously, while the Wizards are going to basically test their roster to see what they have for next season. The Pelicans are seven and a half point favorites. The Wizards have lost every game in the bubble by at least eight points. I am going. The Pelicans are not playing that well, but I am going with the Pelicans here at minus one ten. Also, the over under on the Pelicans point total in this ball game one hundred and twenty one. Washington has only given up at least one hundred and twenty points one time. The Pelicans have only scored have scored more than 109 points only one time. So I am going with the under here at minus 115. The Pelicans, I think, I think they, they win going away maybe by 15, 17 points there against the Washington Wizards. And finally, the Kings and the Nets. What a ball game, right? I'm sure this one has the interest of a lot of people. Just give me the over. I'm not even gonna. I'm not even gonna look at this. What is over? I don't know. Just give it to me. 232 and a half points. But I'm telling you, the Kings. I mean, you look at their last ball games. 249 points. 248 points. And then 224. And then their last ball game, 265 points. I mean, these dudes, they give up and they score a lot of points. Brooklyn, 246 points in the bubble, 228. And then 235. And then the last ball game against the Boston Celtics, they gave up 260. They didn't give up. They scored. The two teams scored. 264 points. This is going to be a very high scoring game. I'm going with the over at minus 110. The over has hit in seven out of the last eight Kings games. And thank God it's Friday, right? I mean, I'm telling you, in the last five Brooklyn games on Friday, the over has hit. It's my lucky day. Over 232 and a half points at minus 110. I hope you have a very fabulous weekend. And for everything regarding the world of betting, you can go to oddshark.com.